welcome back to part two so we did the photoshop part and now we have to make the background so now we have to do the background and that i created in photoshop by mixing up some colors i made it solid it's like this and use different brushes So I made the background in Photoshop and I will put a link in the description so you can download it from there. Now we have to composite it. Before that you have to do the hair. I already have a video on how you can make the hair in Blender. Uh, you can go and watch that if you want to learn yourself how to do that. But I will provide you the hair and the background. I've also uploaded a video on how you can make the hair stick to your head. You can go watch that. Before that, when I added the hair, I did some color correction, like made this part a little bit darker. When I added the hair, exported it in PNG and did the same again with the hair, with EVSynth and Photoshop. So after you do that, import this into After Effects. We'll trim the comp to here. Press N on your keyboard, then right click and trim comp to work area. Now we need to create a new camera and change both of these to 3D layers and change this to two views. Now click here and change this to left. So now when we move, uh, click on the camera and when we move this, we'll move closer to the camera. So first of all, click on your background layer and drag it backwards like a lot 5000 will do and then scale it up now click on your camera press P on your keyboard select on the stopwatch to make a keyframe for your position move forward move forward and and move the camera forward now if you play it back it's going to look like this let me show you how you can achieve this um, moving cloth effect first of all go to production get search for cloth and download this free version after you do that import it into after effects like this and drag it on top of your video Turn it off for now, create a new black solid and create a mask where you want the effect to be. So make sure to leave out the hand because it will look very, 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 very weird. When you do this, try to be as precise as possible because it will look good. I'm not doing that because I'm doing this for tutorial. So now turn the <coughs> turn the cloth footage turn the cloth footage back on and move it to a place where you want. And now change this to alpha black mat. Make sure that the black solid is on top of the this footage. And you have to keyframe it. Uh, keyframe this mask. Uh, remember that. Remember to keyframe this mask. M. Uh, be, 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 be. rotoscope it so now when you do that um, select both of the black um, select the black solid and the cloth footage and recompose them and now change this to soft light create a new adjustment layer right click effect um, distort and click on displacement map rename this to cloth when you edit this pattern map change this to cloth and turn this up a little bit it's up to you and turn the opacity to something like 30 after you've done that um, change all of this to 3D layers 
if you want the clock to move a little bit slower you can always do that by going to time time stretch and change this to like something like 200 and it will move a little bit slower I forgot to mention before adding the effect turn off the camera add the effect turn the three layers and then turn the back camera back on so that's it that's it for this video make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more when you've done that select all the layers Control a on your keyboard right click and pre-compose and then do all of your color grading um, what I always do is drag this up a little bit and do this it makes the footage look you know maybe like a little bit of a film look another color grading part is up to you if you want to see how I did it you can just um, copy and paste these one other thing you can do is create a new adjustment layer right click new adjustment layer and then add a go to blur and sharpen and unsharp mask now change this to something like 30 and change this to light and change the opacity to your liking if you leave it at 100 it won't look very good so maybe at um, 60 or 50 and that's that if you want a tutorial on anything else like making a 3d environment in blender like and all the other stuff i do in my videos um leave a comment and tell me what you want thank you so much for watching and leave a like it helps me a lot